What's going on all my loot goblins? Are you like me then pick up every single thing that is a nailed or bolted down or glued down and have too many forks and spoons in your hand? And you're tired, uh, your legs just get too tired to walk an inch further and even if your ship is right in front of you? <laughs> well, look no further because this video is for you. Especially if you're not using any uh, mods or anything else that uh, increases your inventory size. So instead of running to your ship over encumbered and having to stop every two seconds, you can download this mod and you'll see why you it's a must have in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. my ship has finally arrived and if you don't believe me it's believe me it's not my ship this is the razor leaf if, uh, any of you guys don't uh, recognize it just painted it all black I hope you're having a good day. yes I'm having a great day after I found this amazing mod in this video, I'm going to show you how to install this mod. The only way I could get it to work. It's just to show you that it's my mod and it wasn't just an AI mod and if you didn't see the name of the ship. That's that Nexus Mods. I'll link the description in the below so you guys could just click on it. It'll be a lot easier to uh, get to. It just dropped probably about an hour ago. I've been messing with it, trying to get it to work and everything. But you can just look at all this stuff if you want. None of this stuff really helped me. Not a single thing, except the, the back command. But anyway, so if you're on Xbox, like the Game Pass, I'm sure this will work for you. I'm not sure the directory path you'll have to put it in because uh, I'm on Steam, regular PC, whatever. I guess the Xbox Game Pass is on PC. But for console, I'm not sure if this will work. So I'm, I think consoles can have mods for off the Nexus. I'm not 100% sure how that works, but this will be for you guys on PC. You'll want to come up to here to Files manual download. I'll show you some things I've been seeing in the post right here that people have been saying through the mod manager or mod manager which I will go ahead and download while we're talking. So then after you've downloaded it you'll want to come here to your downloads and uh, click on the call your ship extract all and then come in your file here Copy this, you just push this little button. You want to go to your Starfield EXE, or your root folder, or whatever, and just put the paste, hit the paste button, and you can see it's right here in mine. And then you'll want to go back to your downloads, go back in that folder, select the data folder, copy again. Now you'll want to go into your documents folder, my games, Starfield, and just click anywhere in here, make sure it's highlighted. Hit the uh, little uh, clipboard to paste it, and it will go in your data folder here. If you are using, this guy has another mod, uh, always land ship or something like that. Uh, if you have that installed, overwrite that with this file. Uh, then for me, that was it. This is how I had to do it. Uh, the Vortex mods, usually it goes right into your directory. Which I tried downloading straight from the, you know, the Vortex, it did not work for me. Uh, I think I got it, uh, the ship would go up, but would not come back down. <laughs> so, I started messing with stuff, and I finally got it to work by doing the old school way, I guess. I think in the... No, I guess not. I know in this is... In the, uh, for his mod for always land, it says it needs some kind of other program to run, but that did not work for me. Let's see if it comes up. Nope, it didn't come up, so I'll just exit out. Okay, so that other mod, it required some other um, 
program or other mod or whatever to get it to work. But it, I tried it with that, the other mod, it, that other mod wouldn't work with that stuff. Every, uh, every way it told me to download. So if you do have that mod, which is this mod right here, always land on planets. You go to uh, it's Baka Disable My Games folder. So I guess that's uh, another mod that's, I think, been around for, I don't know, a couple weeks or so. I can't remember when that came out. But it's supposed to disable your documents folder. You know, the data folder in your uh, documents. Uh, my games data and all that. So you're supposed to, like, delete all this stuff and, and then move everything to your data or you're not your data, but yeah, your data and everything into this folder, your root folder. But uh, do not do that. Maybe. I tried doing that. I copied uh, everything from my documents into documents folder, I guess. So I went into my games, Starfield. I copied all of this stuff into my documents and I came to the root directory. did the same thing, but two different folders in case stuff didn't work. And then when I went to copy them back, I don't know what happened. I think when I went into Steam, it downloaded save files to the you know the doc the document location, and then uh, when I found that stuff wasn't working, it uh, I put everything back how it was. Went into my game, started messing around, saved, and then I noticed that whatever happened, Steam messed with my save file. So now I lost like three days of what I had been doing, <laughs> so which sucks. So, um, so I gotta redo all that. Anyway, no big deal. So what people have been saying to do is to come in here, open in file manager, and I think put your bat files in here, but the only other file that's in there is call ship text. It's not a bat file. So I might be wrong about what file they're putting there, but I put this call ship in there and it didn't, still didn't work for me. Another one said, uh, like disable, remove, all you have to do is remove mod, keep the archive, and once that's done, you would uh, unpack as is, and then it redeploys it. I did that too. It still didn't work. So I don't know. If you want to, guys, want to go ahead and try that too, you know, if, if it works for you, awesome. So then you can have mod manager my, manage it for you, the vortex. The MO2 or whatever it's called might work too, I don't know. But now that we got that done, to actually get it to work, you have to look at the lower left screen here, you open your console, I already have it, everything up there, you put bat call ship. But there's another way, uh, if you want to do like a hotkey, you just put hotkey, I believe whatever key, and then bat call ship. So I have F4. You have to do that every single time you load up a game, and then you just hit your F4. You can watch it take off. And it, it takes about a minute. So you could do this right here, but this mod is pretty much made for, you know, if you're on the other side of the little seed, of, or whatever you want to call it, the, the little map that, you know, the game generates, it's just a seed. So say I'm, all the way over here. Oh, I didn't know we could do that. Anyway, so, uh, or all the way over here, you could do that, which usually, you know, you could just pull up your scanner, you can find your ship, and then just fast travel. So this would make this kind of obsolete, <laughs> I guess. But lately, I don't know why I've been having an issue. I'd open up my scanner. I look for my ship and it wouldn't be, there'd be no icons anywhere. So this pretty much takes care of that. And this will land on wherever your cursor is, a little dot. Well, it's supposed to at least, I thought I, I guess it's gonna land wherever you're standing. <laughs> so when you see the ship come down, move. There's a few bugs with it, as you can see it. They say that in the description, it will clip through the terrain. Uh, Vasco, wherever the ship was before, he'll stay there until it lands and opens up the back hatch. Then he should respawn. Yep, so he's right there, but all in all, who cares if it's clipping? 
<laughs> you know, he, the, in the description or wherever I seen the modder say that it's nothing he can do about it right now. Probably not till the creation tools come out. But that's it uh, for the video, and I hope this helped you out in installing this video. That them are the only ways I found, or that were suggested to install the mod. I tried everything. This is the only way I can get it to work. And where the hell is Sam gone? All right, but I hope this uh, video did help and everything. And if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button so more people can find this mod. And I uh, hope you all have a nice day.